In 2026, Kenya's armored forces are writing a new story, one that blends old Soviet engineering with modern African innovation. Deep within Kenya's armored brigades, the legendary T-72AV and T-72M1 tanks have returned to the spotlight. These aren't just relics of the Cold War anymore. They've been rebuilt, reimagined, and rearmed to meet the demands of the modern battlefield, a symbol of Kenya's evolving defense power and technological confidence. The T-72AV, originally designed in the Soviet Union, is one of the most produced battle tanks in history. Its design philosophy was simple, a compact, powerful, and deadly machine that could move fast, hit hard, and survive long. Kenya's version of the T-72 family entered service in the early 2000s, imported to strengthen armored formations that had relied for decades on British-made Vickers tanks. But now, in 2026, this tank has undergone a massive transformation under Kenya's modernization program. The new T-72AV M1 upgrade project focuses on three key areas, protection, firepower, and digital control. On the outside, the tank still carries that classic low-profile Soviet silhouette. Round turret, sloped armor, and menacing stance. But the new Kenyan variant features explosive reactive armor plates across the hull and turret, dramatically increasing defense against anti-tank missiles and RPGs. These blocks, developed in collaboration with Eastern European suppliers, can absorb and deflect the energy from high explosive rounds, keeping the crew safe even under heavy fire. Inside, the transformation is even more impressive. Gone are the analog dials and Soviet-era optics. In their place, digital multi-display consoles, GPS navigation, and a thermal imaging sighting system have been fitted. This means the T-72AV can now identify and lock onto targets in total darkness, fog, or smoke, something older tanks could only dream of. The commander's station now features a panoramic day-night viewer, giving full 360-degree awareness. In 2026, the Kenyan T-72 doesn't fight blind anymore. It fights smart. Under the armor lies a beast of an engine, a 780-horsepower V46 turbocharged diesel, now upgraded for better performance and fuel efficiency. The transmission has been refined, cooling systems improved, and the suspension tuned for Kenya's rough terrain. This tank isn't designed for European plains anymore. It's built for Africa's rocky highlands, sandy tracks, and wide-open savannas. During 2026 field trials, the upgraded T-72 achieved an impressive 60 km per hour on road and handled steep inclines without losing traction, proof that the old Soviet frame still has the muscle for modern missions. Firepower remains the heart of this machine. The T-72AV carries the powerful 125mm smoothbore gun, capable of firing armor-piercing, high-explosive, and even guided rounds. Kenya's latest upgrade allows the gun to integrate with a computerized fire control system, improving first-shot accuracy by over 40% compared to older models. The autoloader mechanism, a Soviet hallmark, means the tank can fire up to eight rounds per minute with just a three-man crew, commander, gunner, and driver, keeping the weight low and combat efficiency high. But in 2026, it's not just about shooting. It's about connecting. The upgraded Kenyan T-72s are now part of a digital battlefield network. Each tank is linked to command vehicles, drones, and artillery units via encrypted radio and satellite systems. This networked combat environment allows real-time data sharing, positions, threats, and target updates, giving Kenya S armored forces the kind of situational awareness once reserved for top-tier militaries. Crew safety has also been a top priority. The tank now includes spall liners, automatic fire suppression, and improved ammunition storage design 
to prevent catastrophic explosions. Even the driver's compartment has been redesigned for better ergonomics and visibility, making long missions less exhausting. These changes might sound small, but they drastically improve survival rates and crew endurance in real combat scenarios. The Kenyan Defense Forces are known for adapting equipment to local needs, and the 2026 T-72A VM-1 is a perfect example. Mechanics at Kahawa Barracks and Thika's defense workshops have localized maintenance, meaning spare parts, armor plates, and even digital components are produced or assembled within Kenya. This independence ensures long-term sustainability and reduces dependency on foreign suppliers. It also strengthens Kenya's growing defense industry, giving rise to a new generation of African engineers fluent in both mechanical warfare and modern electronics. From the outside, the 2026 T-72 AV looks intimidating. Its matty desert camouflage blends seamlessly with the terrain. New LED lights, infrared searchlights, and a laser warning receiver sit on the turret, giving it a futuristic profile. When these tanks roll across training fields during national parades, they don't just represent steel. They represent national pride and technological confidence. Comparatively, Kenya's upgraded T-72s are lighter than Western tanks like the Abrams or Challenger II, but faster and more maneuverable. That makes them ideal for rapid response operations, border defense, and peacekeeping missions in neighboring regions. The combination of Soviet reliability and modern Kenyan innovation makes these tanks some of the most balanced machines in East Africa's arsenal. Observers have called Kenya's 2026 tank program a smart modernization. Instead of buying completely new fleets at enormous cost, Kenya is revitalizing proven designs with affordable, effective upgrades. The T-72A V M1 program mirrors what nations like India and Poland have done. Breathing new life into Soviet platforms through digital technology and localized craftsmanship. For Kenya, this approach ensures not only modern capability, but also long-term self-reliance. Every tank tells a story of innovation, adaptation, and survival. The 2026 T-72 AV is no different. It bridges the gap between history and the future, reminding us that the machines built decades ago can still dominate when given the right upgrades. From its 125 mm roar to its adaptive armor and smart battlefield systems, the Kenyan T-72 AV isn't just a war machine. It's a symbol of evolution. As Kenya continues to enhance its defense capabilities, the T-72AV stands ready, guarding borders, leading armored columns, and reminding the world that even old warriors can be reborn. In 2026, the spirit of Soviet design meets Kenyan ingenuity, and together they create something powerful, precise, and proudly African.